Hey guys, Wanavito here with another color grading tutorial, only this time we are using Magic Bullet Mojo from Red Giant Software. Yes, them again. Red Giant has their hands all up in the color grading game. Now I know that these videos tend to run a little over 15 minutes, so I will try my best to cut that number down today. So let's just dive right in here. I have the footage, of course, provided by my friend Moises Batista. The footage once again was shot on the Canon 5D Mark IV natively at 8-bit 422. So here we have the footage. Once again, I'm going to turn on proxy. System resources. The curves have already been applied to correct for whites and darks. There's the on and off. Now we're going to move forward to Magic Bullet Mojo. Go to effects. Type in Mojo. It's the only effect called Mojo, so it's easy to find. Footage has to be highlighted and double click. Already we're greeted with something pretty, pretty decent, but we're gonna make our own look. Here we're gonna leave this as flat because the video has been recorded with Canon's Cine style profile. So it, it, it is flat here on the preset where it says Mojo. We're going to go to hmm, none because we're going to do this from scratch. All right. Mojo tint. We leave it. That's not Mojo. We leave it at 50 and Mojo tint. And 50. So Mojo tint we leave at a Mojo. We leave at 50 Mojo tint. We leave it at 0%. So we're going to punch this up to like about 50. See how that looks? Not bad. Bleaching. You want to see what the bleaching does? There's actually sliders, which makes Mojo much easier to work with. So that's what bleaching does. I guess we can maybe 30. Okay, and the fade. Very nice. Should let me take proxy off. There we go. All right, blue squeeze. Guess we can do a hundred. Skin squeeze. There's no skin on here, so zero on that. And that really does work on skin. Just turn off vignetting for now. For corrections, which honestly should have been the first thing I've done. Let's just go to, okay. Warm it up, I feel like about five. Not too much. Green, magenta. Of course, zero percent, zero percent for the skin yellow paint. Cause if you want to see what that does, check it out. Yeah, pretty much ruins the uh, the footage. Okay, so far it's looking really nice. Now we can apply a nice vignette, probably twenty five. Okay, so that that looks pretty good. So when you're doing some color grading corrections, which um. Mojo has a built in color correction, which is pretty cool. It's okay to combine tools. In this case, I'm going to use Lumetri to sharpen the, uh, to sharpen this up because there's really no sharpening uh, um, options within Mojo for magic bullets. I believe no, no for colorista. It was pop pop acted kind of like a sharpening tool, but there, there isn't even the pop option here on the, um, on Mojo. So uh, we're going to use Lumetri to sharpen it up. And 25 worked for me. In order to get to actually see if that did anything, I take the footage like about 100%. Always look at uh, contrasty areas, like around uh, here, maybe the edges of leaves to see if that actually works. So if I take it back to zero, I saw something happening here. You probably saw it somewhere else. Go back up to 25. 
Uh, I also saw it here in the design of the brick. So I'm gonna go back to zero. And back up to 25. I don't want to overdo it either. Well, there you have it. A quick color correction and color grading tutorial today. Uh, Magic Bullets Mojo really gets the job done quickly and very, very little options here between uh, what we did was mess with the mojo to punch it. Pretty much punching acts more like a contrast uh, and uh, the bleaching. You already know what that does. Did the faded look, if you want to see, without the faded look. It's more um, more contrasty looking, uh, and that's coming from the, uh, the punch it option here. Uh, but the fade really does work at 50 to make it look more uh, 35 millimeter film. We could adjust the strength of it, so it won't be as, uh, as harsh. Uh, and if you do it in increments of 25, uh, it, you get a better understanding of the final look. So if we start at 25, that's closer to the, uh, the raw, we go up to 50 I'm sorry. What did I change to 50? <laughs> All the vignette 25 vignette. Okay. Now strength 50. Seventy-five, and of course a hundred, which really crushes the uh, the darks around here. Um, so uh, seventy-five to one hundred looks good. I'm actually gonna go down to seventy-five, bring back information here, and still have the grade pretty present on the on the on the clip. Is before and after mojo. So overall, not bad. So if your whites are still going a little too high, you can always go to um, RGB curves. This is the curve I was, um, I gave it before recording. Uh, I guess I can t I, pretty much these are this point here. So if I brought it down, whoa, too far down. Maybe this one too. Just under 90 because I started seeing these highlights, these whites here, like really blown out. I lost information there. Uh, but you can still see the design on the bright areas here. So that's what I just adjusted here. Well, that's it. This was a quick tutorial. Magic Bullet Mojo is a very powerful and easy to use tools uh, and easy to play with with the built in sliders. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I would love it if you became a subscriber. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.